Good evening, everybody. All right, sorry about the double feedback over there. I don't get it. Sometimes my filter is ridiculously loud, sometimes it's not. This is ridiculous. Yeah, that kind of noise is not supposed to be auditable. Uh, Good quality. Closing is up there. I don't know how this microphone is picking up so much noise. Give me a sec. That's picking up way too much. Sorry about that delay, guys. Something ain't right with my filters. Look, open threshold is at negative 40 decibels, but for some reason it is picking up even some of the smallest shit. Okay, I really hope that that's going to be better. Hey, what's up, Maestro? How are you doing this evening, man? I'm trying to figure out my audio for some reason. It is being very sensitive, even though I've got noise cancellation and all that going on. It's, it's being very, very sensitive. That's not picking up anything. There we go. What was it? 43. All right. Hopefully this means that my sound is still coming through good, but you won't hear too much of the background shit. Hopefully. So I actually, Maestro, we actually made quite a bit of progress on the build shortly after you left. So remember I told you hung, hanging on to a whole bunch of uniques could potentially benefit me? So it kind of has. So I'm currently running the Victoria's Equity, which is dexterity intelligence chaos resistance chance to gain frenzy charge and kill i'm just testing this to see if it works see if i potentially get frenzy out of this that one's still a tester however the ring is at 30 to 25 chaos damage to attacks and 10 percent chance to cause monsters to flee and then obviously 13.5 life regeneration that's not bad but more importantly my boots the sun dances so 20% increased movement speed, 31% fire resistance, 29% increased rarity of items found, 83% increased evasion rating, and a 10% increase in attack speed. That balanced with everything else, my damage is well over a thousand at the moment. And it's actually handling itself pretty well.
Yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with what's happened so far. I just want a quick test by you. Can you hear like my mouse and everything in the background? Like if I tap it against the table. A bit. You see, and I don't know why it's doing that. It shouldn't be doing that at all. And I don't know if my gain on my Yeti is just too high. But with the noise suppression, that should not be happening at all. So I don't know if my mic is just freaking out at this point. It's supposed to be... Hopefully this works better. Hopefully I don't pick up too much background noise with this now. And hopefully I'm not cutting in and out either. And you can actually hear me consistently. Okay, cool. I hope this is better. If you do hear me cutting out or anything like that, just scream, let me know. If it feels like my voice at the end of a sentence starts fading off, especially if I'm trying to start a new sentence. Oh, one thing I also decided to switch out for. So I'm not using Contagion anymore. I'm now using Despair. For indigestion. Yeah, so I've swapped it out for Despair. So obviously that means cursed enemies have a negative 18% to a chaos damage. And the duration is obviously 11.35 seconds. So that's doing me pretty well and one of the things is that i'm really working towards right now specifically for the single target damage because the single target damage is looking better i've been working my way through ow hold on so i've been working my way through the life at this point uh specifically life energy and stuff but i'm trying to work my way towards this um which one is it i can apply an additional curse because if I can just apply both something like Sniper's Mark as well as Despair on an enemy, they are going to take quite a bit of damage. So I'm busy working my way up towards these Physical and Chaos damage as well as this um, Curse and Mana Reservation um, tree up here. Along the way, I'm busy going across through these Increased Maximum Energy Shield and Life and then... so far it's actually been working pretty well why don't you use bane i don't know what bane is bane with despair because uh, i don't know what bane is Is Bane something that I would have access to at this point already? Oh, and no jokes. Uh, it's basically contagion, but it also applies linked curses and deals more damage based on how many curses it applies. Okay, definitely. I'll have to go see if I can get a hold of this Bane. Oh, sorry, oh, Bane. Um, one of the things, making this decision, the attack damage, the Clever Thief, that damages leech this life and then going for the 10 percent of leeches instant my health recovery especially in a big mob is decent it's made my survivability a lot more acceptable I think once I've cleared this and I've gone on to the next waypoint, I'll see if I can't go back to town and try and find Bane. Uh, is Bane fine in Act 3 or is it something I have to get old somewhere else? Because I didn't actually do libraries.
Oh, and I kind of cheated a little bit. My one uh, Quicksilver flask should be Clarissa. Awesome. Okay, I'll go have a look. My one Quicksilver flask. Um, I kind of stole it from the Tornado Shot build. So it's the one that it's used when the charges reaches full. <laughs> so I stole one thing from a previous build. Okay, awesome. I'll definitely go look at Clarissa after this. Someone or something is keeping very busy in the bowels of this mountain. Is this thing? Uh, 480, 581. Oh, that's still more than what I currently got. I thought you were working this either, right? or are you busy watching from work? Sick. Oh shit, man, hope you're okay. Hopefully I can be your source of entertainment for this evening so you don't feel too shit. I should and realizing now that because I was having problems with my freaking stream, I never actually had my formal introductions. Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. I hope you enjoy it. If you do, help me spread the word. Share it on social media, let's try and grow this channel. The love and support would really be appreciated. All of my past live streams are posted onto my YouTube channel if you want to go and support me over there as well. Would also be highly appreciated. But sit back, relax, enjoy the show. If you have any suggestions on how I can better my content, please let me know. And a recap of those of you who don't know what we're doing, we are not following a build guide. I am trying to see if with the limited information I've got, with the support of knowledgeable individuals such as Maestro in chat, if we can build a somewhat viable build that can carry us, first of all, through the acts, and then secondly, onto the maps. My goal is to at least get to T7. And then after that, once I've, if I reach T7, then I'm good. I'll be happy. Anything past that would be just a the cherry on top. But like Maestro has suggested in the past, which I am starting to realize, there's potentially going to have to be a change in the build as we move on. You might need to potentially move away from ailments onto critical strike instead. But, we can see when we get there. Yeah, 
Okay, so at this point, we're just going to continue our journey up the tree. More life, more energy. Oh, and I'm keeping hold of this because I really, really, really want to use this claw. Because I leveled it up, realized that I accidentally fucked up because I used a essence on it, but the essence pushed it way above my current level. But I mean, that 14 to 38 physical damage is good, but that chaos damage, that's pretty fucking badass. And then look at the modifier as well. Adds an additional 59 to 84 ca chaos damage on top of that. And 38% mana regeneration. And a plus one to um, socketed uh, melee gems. Melee gems, not really the biggest thing in the world, but... I can't start wait to start using that. So I had to buy a shitty little replacement just to have this until I'm the right level to be able to use this. So currently on level 39, so I've still got 10 levels to go before I can actually start using that. So it was a lovely upgrade. I just can't use it, which obviously sucks. Balls. You know. bye All right. Bye. So now that I've got the waypoint, let's quickly shoot off to Clarissa and let's go see if we can't get hold of what was it called bane i don't think i need to be doing that right now what that's not how you spell bane bane applies a debuff to enemies in an area which deals chaos damage over time link text curse also applies to those enemies now this is something that i would want linked with despair correct So I would want... No, that's Sniper's Mark. Uh, despair. Efficacy. Okay, those don't actually link to one another, so I can just put this over here, and then put this one back. And then that is an additional. Would you suggest getting rid of Despair, and running just Bane and... Um, Wait, you said that they actually do eat off of each other. So they should be linked. Like that. Link them. It doesn't actually say that they link to each other. Okay. Linked Hex Curses also apply to those enemies. The debuff deals more damage and lasts longer for each Hex applied this way. The skill cannot be used by Totems, Traps, or Mines. Only applies Hexes from Curse Skills, gems requiring level 36 or lower. Deals 107.5 base Deos damage per second. Okay. Go back to Dahlia. Bye. Are we talking about Dahlia over here, or are we talking about Dahlia in... The city. Not a cock crow. I see that I can't actually use the spare. It's now all linked to Bane. So what I can just do is I can do this, move that there, and just use that instead. And then that can be a, a filler. I don't even actually need that on my taskbar anymore now. I just need Bane on you. Ooh. This could be good. Calm stream. Oh, and I did also do quite a bit of work to try and get my defenses up. So it's 72, 70, 72, 74. And I even got a little bit of chaos resistance. But yeah. So, those modifiers are decent. I can always try and get them more perfect, but they're good for now. Oh, hello.
That's a lot of damage. A single target damage still kind of sucks a bit. I don't know what the hell I just clicked on. The fuck did I just do? Well, there's a Vol Righteous Fire. Final blow, withering step, and cremation. I'm supposing it's going to take a while for the skill to actually get some boost out of it. 31% more damage deals 248 curse. Alright. I mean, a person can definitely tell that you're bearing a lot slower compared to another bow. But I mean, it doesn't feel or look like it's struggling. Okay, yeah, single target damage still absolutely sucks ass. But in general, it doesn't feel like I'm, I've completely fallen off the map. I've gotten a lot further than what I thought I was going to originally.
I'm actually thoroughly impressed with how it's doing so far. And I think one of the biggest mistakes I made initially was when we started this journey, I kept trying to compare it to something else. I kept trying to compare it to like Tornado Shots or um, the SRS and it's, it's just not the same build. And to try and treat it as the same build would, same build would just be unfair. This is going to be a better reflection of how this is going, especially with these enemies. I think one of the biggest areas where I'm lacking at the moment is my defense, my survivability. Which is why I've taken the route up the skill tree that I am. So I'm going towards more damage notes, but in order to get that, I'm trying to run through as many life and energy shield and evasion nodes as I can. Trying to be a little bit smarter about how I go this, uh, along the ship. It's not doing bad. Like, I am. I'm thoroughly impressed. Okay, where did I fuck up? Baby beam is where it is, so I need to go for it up. Let's see how we handle this fight. I can't promise this fight is going to be any decent or any good, but you're about to find out, that's for sure. And is the sound still coming across good though, Maestro? Like, I'm not cutting out, you can hear full sentences, you're not hearing too much shit in the background.
That is fine. Awesome. Thank you very much. I'm looking into Clawcroft. Hey, remember the plan of this thing. We're not trying to <laughs> get OP here. I'm trying to figure out if I can do this shit on my own. <laughs> Keeping in mind that I don't have the currency that you do, Mr. Millionaire. <laughs> Hello. That's a lot of damage. Okay, physical damage or projectile damage does quite a bit of damage to me. Let's move up to here. So first thing I want to do is go into void manipulation. First thing I want to do is go into here, grab this physical chaos damage over time multiplier, as well as increase chaos damage and skill effect duration. First, want to grab these, and then I'm going to move up to the the curse mastery over here. And then after that, I'm not actually 100% sure where I need to go. I'll have to figure that out when I get there. Some quick currency, chain belt, new belt, two stone ring, iron ring, jade habit, cloth, cloth belt. Buttons. Okay, so that was a lot of shit. I'll dump that. I'll grab the cloth belt. I might want to have a look at the rustic sash as well. No, the global physical damage is shit, but maybe the modifiers are nice. No, they were not. Oh, you're just looking at how one would go about doing it. That is quite interesting to find out, like, what is the capabilities of making... The oh, shit. Okay. I was not paying attention there. And that's my concern right there. I'm still a bit squishy. I still need... That's still one thing that I need to learn is how to go about crafting my own gear not applying any not just applying a um a modifier to an existing piece of gear but to actually craft the gear from scratch i don't know where to do that and i don't know what a person needs to do for that and that's why we're doing this episode well this series Just looking back to where we've been. Okay, so from what I can tell, I am very weak. Very, very, very weak to 
I don't know whether I should call it physical. I thought you'd be able to craft a clean unit with less than 10 divines. Damn, okay. It could potentially become something that's pretty costly. Um, yeah, so ailments. So elements. Elements, elements. I think I'm pretty good on. But physical or projectile damage. Whether that counts as the same thing or not, I'm not 100% sure. But that's where I'm doing really badly. Look, I'm getting... Those archers, when they hit me, that's... That's a lot of pain. Second, check out this. Uh, you also have like 680 life. You should be at 1k by now. Okay, so I definitely need to focus on either things that are going to give me more life, or I need to potentially start looking at finding the life nodes. Is there like a a good decent overall rule to apply when it comes to what level of life you want by the end of each act so let's say for example end of act one it's 300 end of act two it's 500 end of act three it's 700 etc etc obviously i know that it, it's it's a variable number and doesn't apply as an absolute every single time but just a good like guide to say hey this health will do you well Jacob says that 300 per act is a good goal. Okay. Yeah, and I'm in act four. Yeah. So I should be close to 1,200, but around 1,000 should be okay for now. I think one of the biggest issues I also have the whole time is I find gear that suits me for the early game. And then... What tends to happen is, what I've noticed is, I tend to fall off on the gear quite a lot. So, I mean, I am still currently, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, these gloves. It's got an evasion rating of 16. It requires level 39, okay, true, so it's not the worst in the world. But I mean, I've, I've picked up stuff that I got way early in the game. I forget to actually maintain the upgrade on the gear, along with the skills, along with the health, along with everything else. There's another place where I fall short a lot often. Yeah, probably. But I mean, it's not a fantastic pair of gloves. And that is 100% an issue that I am well aware that I do. I don't maintain the, the, the equipment for the build.
Nope, I've gone to the wrong arena. Oh my god. Try to tell me that this man can't fit through that little gap. Stupid. There's a lot of habits that I've got that you can clearly tell just by the, the nature of the habits that it's it's a noob's habits. It's the kind of mistakes that somebody who's got experience in this game definitely am making. And I mean, I, I accept that. Always go left, oh, okay. I mean, I will accept the fact that um, even with all the eyes I've got into this, I'm still a noob because there's just, there's just been so much that I've completely just been unaware of. I mean, the first time in 400 hours that I got to the act, past the acts into the actual map stage was with the build that, oh, I was not paying attention on my bleeding. First time I actually got there was with basically 90% of your guidance. And it's probably going to be like that for a while. You're probably going to guide me through quite a bit until a lot of it actually starts clicking. And this is where it's very prevalent that I do not have single target damage. Mm -hmm. Making stupid mistakes. Stone ring. Upbeat, please. I'll take this as well. Okay, first things first, let's put away all the currencies that I've got. No, you can fuck off. Uh, Currency wise, that's it. I'm gonna sell everything else. Death Shreds has a step. One thousand nine hundred covers. Yep. That's definitely gonna be a change. Move that, move that, move that. Prismiatic ring. I have never picked up one of those before. Plus nine percent to all elemental resistances. That's not bad. I'll keep that. It's not a unique, but I'll definitely keep that. You see, now this is where I sat last night, and I actually went through quite a couple of these things to see. Hey. What else is here that I could potentially use? Uniques that I've got. Now, obviously, I don't want to lock myself to uniques, but I mean, the three uniques that I'm using at the moment benefited me in every single way. So, the three things, four things that I really need to upgrade right now is my belt, my gloves, my weapon, and my helm. I'm waiting to be able to use this. Still got a few levels to go before I can do that. Um, 
Whatever you got. Okay, you just got skills. See ya. What do you need now? Actually, sell us the equipment. You could put Viper Strike in that for single target damage. Go away. Yeah. The goal was to try and stay away from as much. I wanted to try and do it with a single skill, but I'm guessing that's not really possible. It's designed either as you have a skill for single target or you have a skill for um, clearing. There's not many options that come to single target damage, correct? Yes. Viper strike. Farewell. I don't think I need to be doing that right now. Now, and is there anything that I would specifically want with Viper strike? To support it. Mm. I think I need to hold off the damage for a bit and start focusing a bit more on health. Where's a nice health node? Five percent increase the maximum life. That'll be nice, and then increase the maximum life. Gain ten life, and it be killed, and plus ten to strength. Yeah, I'll go that way for now. Mm -hmm. Okay. So viper strike is chaos, melee, and attack duration. So, more chaos damage would be a benefit, so uh, void manipulation. Looks like multi strike and void manipulation are popular with Viper Strike. Okay, so void manipulation and then multi strike. Two green, one red. Uh, where's multi strike? I can't spell multi strike. Is multi strike something that's on you? Or is multi strike at somebody else, like Clarissa? Steel skin, melee splash, added fire damage, ballistic totem, lacerate, storm burst. Yeah, it's not something I get, yeah. Take care. So, two green, one red. So, potentially, I'm going to have to roll one of these two. 14 to 37, 10 to 32. I'll probably end up rolling this one a couple of times. I'd love to do it on this one, but I still can't use this. Tarius and Vanya. Okay. I don't know if I've got access to that skill gym yet. I don't know what mission needs to be completed in order to do that. Yes. Uh, summon golem. Snipe, destructive, and ambush. No, I don't actually have access to multi strike. However, I do with another character. <laughs> Good fighting. Uh, where's multi strike? Perforate, war banner, shield, slam, dread. Gas, frozen, animate. Oh, come on. Multi strike support. Okay, so my strength is lacking a little bit on that front. Let's just dump that into here. Actually, actually, hold on. Don't I have a multi strike already? I'm with Herald Purity. No, it's melee splash support. Okay. So we'll just dump that in there for now. And then back to character selection. And we switch back to there. 
That's not cheating, right? <laughs> okay, so strength is currently my biggest concern. So, first things first. And your SRS build. That I do. But strength is still an issue, regardless. That is true, that is true, that is true. Alright, so... First things first, let's get the colors right. So I need Viper Strike, Void Manipulation, and Mod Strike. So I need a green, green, red. Let's roll the colors on this. Well, fuck me. One. One works fine. Can't use it yet, but we can use that and that. That's fucking disappointing. Just using that alone has already like got like... 500 more damage than my current. Uh, it's, it's irritating, it's irritating, but I understand it. So we need to get our strength up. Um, it's going to be the best way for me to get strength up. Mm, my level is 42. Can I add strength to this? No, I can't, because... I don't have space for another modifier on that. Okay. I can't put it on any unique. I know that much. No space for it on that. No space for it on that. I can put it onto the helmet. Okay. Um, strength. 21 to 25 strength should be more than enough. Okay. I had to give up something else for that. So now I can actually put a multi strike. Okay, that's good. Yeah, I really need to remember to actually check the fucking chat before I do anything. Strength and intelligence would have been a bonus. Guess it doesn't matter. My intelligence is pretty decent, my strength is what's lacking. So now I've got, okay, so the damage of that has gone to 1,324, and the damage of this is down to 991. Um, I think I'm going to try finish off this act with the gear that I've got, but in the next act, we're definitely going to have to think about upgrading the gear. Because I think I'm about to specifically gear in the belly of the beast. Yeah, in the belly of the beast, I think I'm going to really start realizing how shitty the damage is. Stupid, 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 stupid mistakes.
a single target on this one that felt better. But I am definitely feeling the Definitely feeling the gear that's falling off. All my health. Yeah, that Viper Strike did a massive. Manage the distance, manage the movement, and I should be fine. There's a lot more involved with this build. And I still can't figure out if, what kind of build I like. Do I like something that is simple, like move and forget, something like Righteous Fire? Which I know you said becomes really fucking boring after a while. Or if I like something that is convoluted and confusing and you have to press 500 different buttons. to figure out that one. Tell me, Master, what you up to? I see you are in game. Busy doing some runs, or You're looking at bolts. That was a lot of damage. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Take that. Grab that. Mesh gloves, I'm gonna take that because I'm looking for upgrades now. Contemplating whether I should go to bed now or in a bit. But if you ain't feeling good, brother, I suppose you need to get some rest. Above everything, a person's health comes first, man. Offer a money back guarantee, Shadow.
Gun Assassin. Another satisfied customer. It was Melagon. Uh, no, I need to fight those shitty three bosses. That sounds even stranger when I say it out loud. I forgot how much you hurt. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You hurt a lot. Someone so obsessed with look fucking out wasn't a pretty death. Where off to? I want this. Okay, so I'm up to 825 health, so I mitigated that a little bit better, but I'm still short. Now I don't want to waste all my skill points chasing health. So hopefully with the next bit of gear that I pick up, moving on to the next act, I can start getting maximum life from those. Stop making stupid mistakes. Pay attention to what you are doing. Fuck's sakes. I don't know much about art, but I know what I like. Stupid, 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 stupid mistakes. It's unique. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm making stupid mistakes. I'm not paying attention. Your mum. It could have all been avoided. Nope, I'm too stupid. But I miss a boss, he said it. 
ready. Oh my god, you hurt. You hurt a lot. Yes, because that works. Throw all your shit into a fucking rock and that's gonna... That's gonna get you the outcome that you want. Oh, it's a fucking one hit. What bullshit is that? I am dying a lot in this area. I knew that this area was gonna make things very prevalent as to how... Much I'm struggling. I was so proud of this book. Come on. Ow. God damn. Oh, do uh, stop, Mountain. You can move today. You can move today, today, today. Today, I need somewhere to put this. Um, what is killing me? Fucking little skeleton. Okay, well, I can already tell you that if that's how this went, my ass is gonna get fucked up in this fight. You're off to bed. Okay, my man. I hope you have a lovely night further. Look after yourself, and I really hope you feel better. Get some rest, and I don't know if you're going to be working Sunday, but if not, then I'll see you tomorrow night if you're going to be here. What do you want? Cheers, man. I don't think my current boots are going to be replaced. With the fact that they've got 20% increased movement speed, 29% increased rarity, attack speed. We're running a sale on every type of stash tab. 30, 40, 60. Some of them are pretty decent discounts. That's not bad. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, um, selling what shit. What is it, Exile? You will be remembered. What is it, Exile? Mm. Okay. Let us have a little look, Sylvia. So... This is giving me fire resistance, lightning resistance. I've got the strength on this. And then 10% increased. However, evasion rating is only 76. Now, with a build like this, what is my current focus? My defense is... Evasion is 495. Suppress is 50%, which isn't bad. Does not say what my total armor is. So life is 825, mana is 425. Where the fuck do I see my total armor? Is that not a value that's represented anywhere inside these stats? Miscellaneous. That's how much life I get. Charges. That's irrelevant. So I, I recover 165 life per second from leeching. Base maximum recovery rate per leech is 82. Defense, evasion rating. I'm actually going to ask Google a question here.
Okay, so this is the results from Google. Evasion is equally effective against many small hits as it is against fewer large hits. Armor is very effective against many small hits, but very ineffective against fewer large hits. So physical damage reduction from armor, unless you know what you are doing, is grossly overestimated. It's not nearly as good as the numbers are making it sound. General rule of thumb is if you are investing a lot, armor is better than evasion. But if you have little to no investment, evasion is better than armor. So evasion is what we want to be focusing on. So evasion, I've kind of got 495. I want to try and get some spell suppression damage as well. But the biggest issue I've got is um, physical damage. Physical damage is where the armor would come into play. But I'd rather try and evade it than get hit by it. Go where you are needed. Now that might potentially be easier said than done. So my current... I don't think I'm running armor on anything. No, my... That's evasion... That is evasion, that is evasion, that is evasion. So everything I'm running at the moment is evasion. Okay. So. Helmet. Is there a helmet in here that's worth it? So that's armor, that's armor. That's armor, of course. Okay, so there's no armor that I can take you that's better. I can potentially hide. Nope, I'm still not there, but I've got 49 to be on that. My chest piece is evasion rating of 172 with 38. Energy shield, energy shield, armor. Evasion is 213. So evasion is just 213, so that's already going to be better than what I've currently got. And it's got energy shield, and that's on a base. If I increase this i might get something decent out of this so let's grab this it's already got the two slots that i need i just need to link them energy shield armor armor okay i'm just going with what is making sense in my head right now whether this actually works is a completely different thing but i need to get my survivability up and then evasion rating on that is 115 now, unless it's only 16 but I'm definitely going to have to do a few things to make those somewhat worth it. So I'm going to grab those, grab those. Okay, time to spend some currency. You will be remembered. So first things first, let's go to the hideout. Let's see what we can do to these two pieces of equipment. And what I can do to actually increase them. So first things first, we go... Oh, can I run some maps now? <laughs> It'd be stupid if I try and run a map now, I get my ass fucked up. Um, okay, so first things first, let's do uh, number of sockets. Yeah, I think I can only get three on that. Requires level 35. Yeah, I can only get three on that. So that is fine. Yeah, because that requires level 40. So that's good. Secondly, let's take this. Max it out. Okay, then let's take a orb of scouring, wipe everything that it's got. Um, secondly, let's change some colors on this one. Can I get a blue, blue, green on this? Let's first do this. Okay, so that's maxed out as well. How many am I going to need to get a blue, blue? It's mostly dick, so I highly doubt I'm going to get a blue-blue-green on this. I can get a blue-blue-green. However, I can put Bane and that in there. Meaning I get the same out of it. So avoid manipulation, despair, Bane. Eh, why not? Bane and despair along with Herald of Agony. I doubt it's giving any kind of bonus there, but at least I've got something to put there, so... Automatically, this can come off. So, evasion rating is 16 on that. Evasion rating on my new gloves is 138. That is a massive improvement. So, now let's take all the alchemy. And let's have a look. Everything on that is better than what I had. The only thing I don't like is the uh, fire and lighting damage. Because it's useless to me. I don't do elemental damage but that 22 26 and 7 percent fire that is 
well, fire. 72, 75, 75. That's a massive increase right there. And my evasion rating has gone to 641. Okay, next let's look at the chest piece. The chest piece is now going to become an issue because of that, the linked slots. So, I can take the green to there and the green to there. I am going to have to, however, potentially try and get a blue blue. Blue blue is fine. There we go. Link it up for me, thank you very much. And then we move that across, and then move that across. However, that's not going to work right now. So, evasion rating on this was 172. On this, it's going to be 236. Not, it's an increase, but not the biggest increase. So, after taking that off, what's our offense is at 72, 75, 63. So, we are hopefully looking for some lightning resistance, some fire resistance, and then whatever else helps. Chaos damage would be nice. Maximum life would be nice. Let's see what this can give us. Be nice, be nice, be nice. Maximum life, yes. Lightning resistance, awesome. Evasion rating, energy shield, fuck yes. Dexterity, decent. I actually think that's a decent... That's actually pretty good. 72, 75, 75. My evasion rating is up to 835. And my health is increased to 875. That is an improvement. That, my dear sir, is an overall improvement. Regardless. So I'm going to keep that. What did I actually lose? Lightning resistance, no maximum life, maximum mana. Was not worth it. Dexterity, physical damage, cold damage, gains fire life. Nope, whatever I lost there was not worth it. Now, with those two things that I just crafted, what else can I put on there? I don't think I can put anything else because I think item sockets on. Okay, item sockets, let's take this off, let's take this off. No item space for mods. Okay, so I think that's full life with all the modifiers that it's got. That's fine. This one. Can you give me resistances? Yes, you can. Okay, but I don't actually want resistances. Uh, life. Maximum life already has a mod of this type. Okay, so it's got life. Um, evasion. It's already got evasion. What else would be important on this? What else would I really, really, really want on you? So I've got my resistances, I've got strength, I've got intelligence. I've still got enough strength to use that. Fire and lightning resistance, strength and intelligence, recover, focus. Is there anything I can add to this that is chaos? Okay, I can only add chaos resistances. Strength is going to be a win because multi-strike requires strength. And my current strength is only 67. So I can upgrade this a few times. I don't think there's anything I can add to this piece of armor right now that's going to benefit me in overall. Yeah, plus 10 to all attributes. So fucking it will be. Recover 29 shield when you focus. Fire, lightning, 4 sockets, 3 sockets. That's expensive. One, two, three. Okay, so this can only get three sockets. Okay, so that's about as good as that's going to be. I really, 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 really want to see if I can put chaos damage on you. Oh my god, I potentially can. So that's level 40, increased chaos damage. That's going to bump me up quite nicely. Um, what level am I? I'm level 43. Okay, so I can take the max one on this. Increased chaos damage, level 2. Let's do that. Craft. 43% increased chaos damage. Oh, yes, so that's going to go from 847 to 1092. And my viper strike went up as well. Gorgeous. I don't think you can do anything with uniques, can you? Nah. So the gear is better. My evasion rating has gone from like 300 to 835. My resistances are basically kept out barring fire. 
my damage has had an increase, my life has had an increase. I think it's going better. So before I do something stupid, I'm going to go back to Act 1 and see if I don't potentially have a skill point that's waiting for me. Got it. So following that... No, wrong place. Wrong place, wrong place, wrong place. No, right place. No, wrong place. I need to go Act 3. I keep forgetting. I don't actually have to... Oh, I do apparently. What do you want? Talakoda. the labyrinth realizing now i haven't actually done labyrinth for the labyrinth for the labyrinth oh my god english labyrinth for the level 33 the goddess is watching let's go do this what i'm going to take here fuck knows absolutely no idea i'm gonna have to see when i get there Fine. I don't even know what ascendancies are available for the rogue. So this is going to all 100% be a guesswork when I get there. I'll have to review it nicely and see what they do. And I also do I rather take the ascendancies that are going to benefit the critical. Fuck, I don't actually know. Do I take the ascendancy that's going to benefit the critical switch that we are going to do later the weary traveler draws close to the end or do i take what i currently got or go for a general this will be okay for you to do now Not great, not good. I was expecting more from that, but I don't foresee too many issues. Not with the first labyrinth, at least. The first labyrinth is still bearable. After that, this thing just becomes a fucking chore. I'm sorry. I love every viewer that I could possibly get, but if you are somebody that enjoys the labyrinth, you, I've got questions about your your mental state. Nope, I'm not doing that shit about that noise. Multi strike. The damage is going up. I am not doing that. I refuse to do that. There has to be another way for me to go. Please tell me there's another way to go that I don't actually have to do that stupid escort the light. I'm really gonna have no choice other than to do that. That is bullshit. <laughs> Come on, there must be a way that I can just skip this. I don't need to open up the door, right? I can just run past the shit, ignore everybody, and just keep going about my merry way. That's how this works, right? Where's a door? Where's that gonna take me? 
Uh, I want a different door. There's no door down this way. There's a door this way, however. Be nice, Esper and Charles. Nice. When the time comes to strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. Oh, why was my health in the The fuck, bruh? When one defiles the effigy, one defiles the emperor. Oh, really? You're basically gonna be over in this fight. Yeah, you're done. Those who Keep stand moving, sir. Never outnumber those who kneel. 43. I've got six more levels to go, then I can finally start using that claw that I made. Looking forward to that shit because that claw is gonna be a decent increase for me. In damage output, at least. Oh, I forgot about this stupid thing. At least my resistances are pretty high, so I should be good. At least this door should be open. Yes, it is. Your mom. Floor is hot, but I am good. Looking for a way out. Looking for a way out. Where are you going? You're going across. That's perfect. See how low my health is. Let's smack somebody. Yep, there's my health full again. Okay. So the leeching is working. I just need to seriously get it to leech better. I don't even know if that's an option. It sounds stupid. But at the same time with this game, it sounds like something that should be possible. Is it a percentage-based increase that I can do, or...? I have never loved and hated a game as much as I do this. Because it is so much fun. It's just there's so much to learn. Mm, that goes up. Silver key, silver cash. Nope, don't want that. Across to the Esperant Char. Nice. Okay, so this should be the last fight, and then I should be able to start reading that. An emperor. I can ascend and see and see where the hell I want to go. Because I honestly don't know what the next steps are going to be, so. Uh, 
up, son. Okay, we're good. I'll take the boots. That's armor, that's armor. The quiver is irrelevant. That's armor, that's mace, that's irrelevant. I'll have a look at that, and I'll have a look at that. Before your emperor, you are worthy. Before the uh, goddess of How many keys do I have? I've got one. Uh, Ini, mini, mini, your mom. Receive our blessings, embrace our gifts, and a unique. That's not horrible. For this something I want for later on. Ending that we all deserve. Uh, hold on. No, 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 no. Except that. Give me a random blue. Do I have a random blue skill? Um, control destruction support. No, I don't. Since when? I've normally got a ho okay. Rolling magma. You can come with me. Uh, transformer skill to be a random one. That's flame blast of clarity. Channels to build up an explosion, which is released when you stop using a skill automatically at maximum stages. The longer you channel, the larger the area effect of damage of the explosion. By a storm of meteors, a large flaming bolt falls towards the target area. The bolt explodes when landing, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Ooh. I particularly maybe want to have grabbed that. Lightning conduit of the heavens. Lightning strikes a number of enemies around a target location. Cannot be supported by spell cascade. Base radius of 4 meters. Hits up to 7 enemies. Why do both of those actually sound like quite a lot of fun? And I don't know which one I want. A large flaming bolt falls towards the target area. The bolts explode when landing, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Base radius is 2.3 meters. Deals. Now, you know what? I want to grab. So this is spell AOE and lightning, spell AOE and fire. Okay, so they both got the same output. <sighs> Cast time 0 0.7, 0 0.75. Critical strike is 6, 6. Effect distance of added damage is 370%, 270%. Both require the same amount of stats, they both level with the same amount of XP. That deals 107 to 160, that deals 63 to 189. So I'm gonna actually take the Meteor one. And you know what? I am gonna equip it, because I am curious to see what the hell this does. That could be interesting. Obviously useless for this run right now, but. I want to keep that. I don't want to keep that. That is something I potentially want to do something with later on. Okay, now for all important question. The fuck am I going to go for? I highly doubt it's Assassin and I highly doubt it's Saboteur. I think Trickster is going to be the way to go. Poison you inflict with critical strikes deal 25% more damage. Trickster. So we'll be starting off there in the center. So 40% less damage from hits for 5 seconds. Every 10 seconds. Okay, so that makes my... So every 10 seconds, I take 40% less damage from hits for 5 seconds and take 40% less damage over time for 5 seconds. That means it's going to be a 5 second gap where I'm taking normal damage and then the next 5 seconds I'm taking 40% less damage. Okay. Um, 3% more damage from each different type of mastery you have allocated. Recover 1% of a life for each different type of mastery you have allocated. Recover 1% of energy shield on kill for each different type of mastery you have allocated. And recover 1% of mana on kill for each different mastery you have. Swift Killer. Evasion and energy shield attack and cost speed. So increased evasion rating, increased maximum energy shield, and increased attack uh, cost speed. That might be nice. And then the big note is your action speed is at least 108% of base value. Nearby enemy monsters action speed is at most 92% of base value. Or I can go with Escape Artist. From escape artist and then splits to damage, leads to energy shield, 20% increased attack and cost speed while reaching enemy shield. No. 
Charge to spread spell damage. Prevent 10% of spread spell damage while on full energy shield. 50% chance of energy shield recharge to start when you suppress spell damage. Area damage, less area damage. Cannot be blinded, reduced. Area of effect and movement speed. Elemental resistance is an area of effectiveness. And then it goes to critical strike multiplier against burning enemies. So that automatically makes it useless to me because I don't use that. I don't use mines. When your traps trigger, your nearby traps also trigger. I don't use mines. I don't use traps. And I don't use trigger bots or skitter bots or anything like that. So the saboteur is going to be useless for me. So it's between trickster and assassin. Now with assassin, gain elusive on critical strike. Gain charge to power charge on critical strike. Critical strike multiplier per power charge. Damage from your critical strikes cannot be reflected. 25% more damage while there is at most one rare or unique enemy nearby. Hold up. So 15% more damage with hits and ailments against enemies that are on low life. There's a 40% chance to critical strike multiplier against enemies that are on full life and then there's a hundred percent more critical strike chance against enemies that are on full life and a hundred percent more critical strike chance against enemies that are at low life so this basically guarantees a critical strike every single time that's how i'm understanding it because a hundred percent is a hundred percent you can't do more than a hundred percent yeah you can do 200 percent, but a hundred percent means that if i attack twice both of those attacks are going to hit And it's going to be a 100% guaranteed critical strike chance on both full life and low life. And if they're at full life, the multiplier is even more. And then obviously 15% more damage with hits and ailments. So you know what? I think I might be going assassin. 40% chance to poison on hit. Increased poison duration for each poison you have. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna go next, and I think I'm gonna go Death towards. Is a banquet. It's up to the murderer to write the menu. So I can upgrade this four times. So ambush would be first. Noxious strike would be second. Toxic delivery would be third. And then one of these would be fourth. You know what? Probably gonna regret this, but fuck it. We'll take that, and then we'll take that, and ambush, and assistance. So, let's have a look. Currently, my offense, my critical strike chance, so let's take this skill. Chance to poison. Offhand critical strike chance is 6.93%. Please actively change this. Apply. Offhand critical strike chance is 7.97%. Oh god, I hope I actually did the thing that I think it was going to do, or how I read it. Let's go speak to this dude, see what he's got to say. Piety died. Oh, he's got a book for me. Thank you. That's actually a nice book to have. Thank you. Now comes the second question. Do I focus again more on some health? Increased damage, critical strike chance. Critical strike mild multiplier. Critical strike chance with chalk claws. Like this is all good and it's all right around here. 5% increase to maximum life. 5% of 875. 10% would be 87. So 5% of that would be about, what, 
that should put me over 900 health which is important so let's grab that so 907 okay i need to pretend increase the effect of your curses increased mana reservation is this actually a curse does it do they classify as curses so despair is a curse and Bane is a hex. And then Sniper's Mark. Uh, where's Sniper's Mark? Sniper's Mark. Sniper's Mark. Sniper's Mark is a curse as well. Okay, so this means I'm going to be able to have two curses active on one enemy. Curse skills have 10% car speed. Min reservation on curse aura skills. I can't tell you. I can't honestly tell you if we're going for that tree is going to be a good idea. But now I can only hope that this fight is going to go the way I think it's going to. Kill the three guardians. Excuse me? I've already killed the guardians. That's why she's not there. Piety isn't there because I've already killed all of them. 1,400 on that and 1,800 on that. That actually gave me a decent increase in damage. Much better. This fight goes. This I, I have fought these fuckers already. Why the hell am I doing this again? Literally, it's not dropping anything for me. I already killed them. I have to kill them again. Fucking stupid. Void manipulation support. That's a thousand two hundred. Why is my damage going down? Jammed with a stone chain helmet, get yeah. back all of the jewelry. Stupid that I have to do this fight again. Struggling with damage, yeah. That is bullshit. That is bullshit. That's not how that shit works. That was bullshit. That's fine. We'll continue to fuck with you. This dark, thank you. Oh, 
Thank you. Oh. Just dead. Can I finally move on to the corner? I did not think that I would have to fight all of them again. But apparently that's the thing. Stupid. I followed your performance. My anti-hero of hubris. And I very much enjoyed it. Now you and I will create the most nightmarish finales together. We're going to make your death really count for something. Now, exile! Die and be reborn! Ow, holy shit. Okay. Now, exile! I am squishy, 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 I am squishy. I am squishy. Use that other ability that you like so much. Not that one. That one. There we go, there we go, there we go, we're getting there. Okay. She did. Black hole. Oh, I'm gonna die so many times here. Now, let us see if you truly understand what it means to be nightmare. Probably not. Things. Ow, 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 ow. Give me stuff back. Give me stuff back. Give me stuff back. Accept the gift of immortality. Why do I keep running into that shit? Just take your beating up. The good boy. That's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt, that's gonna hurt. Are you so in love with death? Die, 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 die. Honestly, I did not think that I was going to kill him first time. I thought I was going to do this fight four, five, six times. That's, where you the point, That's insane. But hey, we did it. You have slain. Ah, uh, sell, 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 sell. Sell, 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 sell. Uh, 581 mana flask. Yeah, I'll keep that. Sell, 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 sell. Exit.
and a flask can be replaced, and unique can get dumped off in you. And then stack, stack, take, 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 take. Need to grab those again. Got like an idiot. And I just want to put away like ten of those. I thought. Take care. I felt they took a shadow. Okay. Where am I going now? Once again, should I continue to be focusing on life? Or do I focus on life from my gear? But I can't get any more gear from life at the moment. That's 50, that's not a percentage. That's six percent. That's ten percent. That would be a solid ninety. That's another six percent. So that's twelve percent on that. That's ten percent on that. So that would be ninety. That would be just over ninety as well. So that's a hundred and eighty. A hundred and eighty top of the nine oh seven I go will put me into a thousand. But that's only a thousand off of three level ups. That's definitely not fucking worth it. What is this? All resource skills can only affect you. All resource skills are one percent more affect by two percent, and they've got less mana reservation. Gain life per enemy hit. I don't need to gain life. I need to just have life. Cause I am squishy as fuck. This doesn't seem bad. Energy shield, maximum life, and ten percent strength. So let's take that. That wasn't too horrible. And then the mastery on this. Ten percent light radius is based on energy shield instead of life. Thirty percent increased light radius. The fuck does that do for me? That's gonna be another good question for Google. Yui, what does light radius? So light radius is a stat that affects the maximum radius that you can see clearly on low light level areas. And so it basically just makes it easier for me to see in dark areas. Which I have never run into anything being an issue. So that's useless. So I'm definitely not going into mastery for this. Increase critical chance spell. Chaos damage, chaos damage over time, chaos damage over time, chaos damage over time, increased spell, chaos damage, 27% increase. On this, damage per second is 1114. Does it mention what my overall chaos damage is? Physical damage, I do like 15. Chaos damage, I do 255 to 478. If that's going to be a 20% increase, which is almost 30%. Uh, 55, 10 would be 25, 20 would be 50, 30 would be... A decent amount. I suck at maths. Maximum life becomes 1, but I'm immune to chaos damage. That doesn't seem worth it. Ever. Area effect of hexes, that would be nice. Because Bane is a hex. Area effect, area of effect, additional curses. You know what, if things die before they get to me, I don't have to worry about my health. So I think I'm going to work my way up this way. That's my logic. That's my logic. I'm sticking with it. I don't think I'm I need probably going to gonna regret that. it down the line. Not a shed. Mm. Multi-strike. Okay, so multi-strike I finally got.
I'm not relying on the projectile damage itself for more though than what I am on the chaos damage. Greater multiple projectile support might not be horrible. Chain support. Mine already changed. Increased area of effect. That might be something very nice to have for Bane and Despair, but I'd have to re-roll that. Increased area of effect, bow, toxin support. More damage to the poison. Vile toxins. Weathering touch, what's good to inflict weather? No. Bone chill, no. Cluster traps, no. Minefield, no. Unleash. Making their effects. Wait. Supported skills gain a seal every 0.88 seconds to a maximum of 3 seals. Supported spells are unsealed when cast and their effects recur for each seal slot. Supported skills deal 49% less damage when reoccurring. Huh? Barrage support. Returning projectile support. Don't need that. I definitely. Increased area of effect. Vile toxin. And greater multiple projectile support. I want to test this, so it actually works. I'm going to take Vile Toxin from them, I live. and I've got to go fetch the other one from somebody else. Like, I'm not insane. That sounds like it should work, right? What do you want? Or am I just being fucking mental? Yeah, no, wrong person. You will be remembered. Anything you need, just ask. Okay, so what was it? So I've got the bar protection. Uh, wait, Hex Bloom? What the hell is Hex Bloom? Hex Transfer Range. Hex is more supported skills transfer to all enemies within 3 meters when a hexed enemy dies. That goes to despair as well. I am taking that because there's a potential that that might be good. Mark on hit support. No. Okay, and Sprint, Barrage support. Greater volley support. Maybe. Maybe. Minefield, unleash, multiple totems, bone chill, withering touch, wild toxins I've got. Decay, spotted skills, decay only dealing for a second for eight seconds. Maybe. Cast while channeling support, no. Trust the traps, no. Cast on death, cast on stun, cast on melee kill, hex touch support. You cannot cast supported cursed spell. 25% less effective support to cursed supported skills ever. Nope. Cast on critical strike, nope. Increased area of effect, that was one of them. Chain support, multi strike, greater multiple projectile support. Spell echo. Okay. Good luck. This is for science. I'm gonna go to a previous area, potentially a shitty area, like a crossroads, where I know there's a lot of enemies. I need to test this. Okay, so that's gonna kill them quickly regardless. So let's take off blind support. So this is for Coblash. Let's take off that. Let's put on that. Damage drops massively. However, is it that damage that I am relying on? Actually, I should go back to where it's important. Where it actually makes sense. I think that this is going to be a good upgrade moving forward. It means nothing in the weaker areas. I need to be doing that right. Now I've halved my damage. Like, so I can't imagine this being any good. Summon, Ice Golem, Flame Golem, Totem Golem, Lightning Golem, Ambush, Tornado, uh, Frost, Void Sphere. Physical damage, by physical damage compared to the Chaos damage. You know what? Fuck it. We'll take it. Why not? I was right to have faith in you, Curse Breaker. That, that. You have succeeded. Well, act with care. Goodbye. Thank you. Okay, so what is this? The list goes.
That's kind of cool. It sounds pretty fucking badass. Okay, so... Okay. Let's figure this out. So... We're doing great the multiple jokers bought that dropped me down to 725. I'll take it off. I'm back up to 1,100. If I use greater volley support, I dropped down to 700 me as well. So it all goes forward. So, no, that doesn't work nicely because this one goes every direction. Clearing on that might be nice. You know what? That's not horrible. See, the physical damage is not important. It's the chaos damage that might actually be a benefit. Now, if I take off Unbound Ailments, this is Decay Support, Increased Area of Effect. So, if I take off Unbound Ailments, what does that do to my damage? Doesn't drop it that much. If I put on DK support, yeah, it's all guesswork. I'm up to a thousand damage on that already. Okay, so that drops off pretty quickly. Increased area of effect. Now, this is on my hexes, so I definitely want that over there. I'm probably gonna have to try and reroll that to see if I can't get this and all blue, blue, blue. Increased area of effect, I wanna keep. Inbound elements, I'll keep for now. Bile toxin, however. Void manipulation. No elemental damage. 5% more damage with the hits for each poison on the enemy, up to 5. 9% more damage with the poison. I want to take that off, I want to put that on, and we're going to invest them again. It's, this feels right, right? Like this, 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 this feels. This feels fucking good. That damage is running out quickly. I'm going to potentially like this quite a bit. Does it all bounce now? Decent. That is really fucking decent. Void manipulation, hex bloom. Okay, so this increased area of effect. So these two I want to put away. Now I'm just going to keep them on me. These two I want to equip. 
equipment for that. I need to go reach. Okay, fuck this noise. No, hold up, hold up, hold the fuck up. Have I potentially... Did I potentially come across something? Like, the damage don't read good, but... I'm not going to be doing more damage as well, so... Wait a fucking minute. Um, okay, so first things first. I need you out. I need you out. That's my bane and my despair. Which would I want first? Hexboom, which has a chance to transfer? No. Supported skills have a 31% increase area of effect, meaning I can hit more people with it. Choo -choo 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 -choo. Okay. Give me a blue, blue, blue. Give me a blue, blue, blue. Thank you. There, 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 there. Thirty-one percent increased air effect. Decent. Hex blue. I'm gonna have to try and get onto a blue, blue, blue when I've got that. Void sphere. Did they any void manipulations? Yeah. Fuck it. Let's try and link it. Item sockets are empty. Because I don't know if that's actually going to apply in any formal way. I highly doubt it. It did. It actually fucking did. Okay. Well, the shark is looking good. That's looking good. This thing's going to go up when in like five levels. So if I do this, I can go... This is potentially, 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 potentially looking good. Okay, so first thing I want to see is what exactly this thing does. feel so good why does that feel so good why does that feel so good make that more comfortable so it is main attack that's my hex i need to change that out i'd rather have this for that and that for that because i don't think i'm going to use that that much because yes good sir nice oh that looks so nice that just feels so good oh i'm having a good time
Why, why does that feel so fucking good? Increase effect on your curses. So let's see, it's a 25% duration. So, 50, 32, 439. 34, 39, 32, okay. Don't know what that exactly did then. Curse skills have 10% increased cost speed. It's gonna be loving. It's gonna be pretty. in this an exile and thank you I'm not interested in anything she's got to have unlike some he's not gonna give me anything decent I don't think I need to be doing that right now You're gonna die. Don't have to worry about your ass. I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I am a happy little fucking camper. This clearing speed is decent. I need that grind, I need that thing. I think it's a brine? What's it called? And the health on this is good because I'm getting... My life leech is pretty good because my life leech is per hit. Oh, I am, I'm enjoying this. I am enjoying this. I'm having a great time. And that's the nice thing with this. I don't even have to be that accurate. I just need to say fuck you in a general direction and they listen. How do I get there? Do I have to go up? What did I miss? Is 
there's a fault blue blue potentially solves one of my issues Killing speed on this is very nice. Very nice indeed. But I think I've officially run out of places to go. Nope. I need to go back up the stairs. No. I'm lost. Come on, going. That's another dead end. There's a confusion. Where am I going? Uh, that corner maybe? And yeah, because I'm not actually using a skill like dash or frost link or something, I can't shoot with just the, the carriers. I have to run the long way around. That's not fucking bad. That is not bad at all. Happy with what we've done with this build so far. Very happy with it. <laughs> okay, so my helmet is decent right now because it's got the four main skills. That's where all my damage is. Well, that's my main skills. I need a four blue 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 chest piece. Four blue blue blue. What the fuck? Just a four blue chest piece. Because then I can start putting hex bloom on as well, which means is a one percent increased transfer range and hexes from supported skills transfer to all enemies within three meters when a hexed enemy dies. That means if I hit him with the sniper's mark, specifically later on when I've got the um, two things, if I hit him with a sniper's mark and with a bane, and I kill that enemy, it's going to automatically like a chain. That curse is going to start spreading to other people like a virus at least that's the way i understand it whether if that's how it actually works what i can tell you is that what i've got at the moment i am happy It is doing day and night better than what I thought it was going to. Even with the loss of damage, the extra projectiles is making this. Phenomenally good. Yeah, this is good, this is good, this is good. I'm happy.
that you're fine with that, that's not bad at all. You guys can all stay away from me. Why is this so good? Why is this working so well? This is just fucking good. Now I can increase the area effect even more, increase the duration even more as well. I'm gonna fill out this tree. Increased area of effect. So if I save this, it doesn't say how big my area of effect is. Uh, it says 32% increase, nope. There's 532. Nothing to cost. I can spam it as much as I want to. And I'm getting life back pretty decently as well from that. Now we Just go. Need a to catch my right there. Thanks. Let's find anything else in there. feel that I need I don't actually feel that I need this anymore I might be better suited with something else now currently my hex blast is affected where's my hex I need to spare increased area effect would that benefit from void manipulation I don't know I did not need to use that skill. The cooldown on that could be a lot nicer. I mean, there's chaos damage from that. I'm happy. I know I'm going to save it a couple of times, but I did not think that those upgrades were going to make that kind of difference. Let's 
Carrying in damage. It's clearing rooms out nicely. He's just not getting through my home. Thank you. Yeah, they're still gonna do more damage. No ways, that was just handed to me. There's no fucking ways that was decided to me. I'm gonna make it work. I'm gonna make it work. It might not be evasion like I want. But the potential glove that we're gonna get from that. Uh, increased duration. Increased mana is basically on core curse aura skills. The course, curse for skills. Maybe that's something I shouldn't be wasting. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna refund one that apply refund, and I'm gonna go. Let's go this way first so I can get that, and then that. I need a waypoint. Take me back to my hideout. I need to do some work on this shit. Okay. You, my good sir. Can I build this the way I want it to be? I don't know if that's an option. 
Okay, so first things first, I don't know how many of this is gonna oh, did I really leave it behind? Yes, I did. That goes over there, that goes over there. Can I move my crafting bench? Uh, edit. Edit that thing. Edit. I can move it. Aha! Crafting bench, you go right there. Okay, so let's grab you. No. Nope. I'm not gonna be cleaning all of this. I'm gonna get his four connected. And I uh, fucked up my eyes on. That's the best I'm gonna get. I wasted a lot trying to get that done. Okay, so this got dexterity, lightning resistance, increased evasion rate. Okay. It's got some lightning resistance. If I put this on, what happens to my defenses? 72, 75, 70. I can still live with that number so let's take this today that today that today and then if we take hex bloom hex bloom transfers everything so it doesn't actually do anything to my damage that's okay let's put all my currencies away I know my inventory looks like an absolute fucking mess right now, but there's a reason why I'm trying to do this. So my defense has dropped massively. Mm. Hold up. Now we want to craft this shit. Okay. So I'll make this armor. Mm, hold on. First things first. You, my good sir, you need to get a... Okay. So this on my energy shield is 116, my health is 995. Okay, so first thing we need on here is life. Maximum life. Shit. Alright, take the book, come on. I don't want that thing to have a life mode because that plus five to health to life is stupid. Uh, take that off. Hello. Okay, gotta take off all of that shit. Fire resistance, lightning resistance, stun, maximum mana, increased armor and energy shield. Okay. That looks better. Now let's see. Maximum life. If we do that, we say craft. It makes it 54. Fuck. 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 I seriously need to stop doing that. I need to seriously stop doing that. Mana, increased armor and energy shield, increased attribute requirements. That's nice. Increased stun and block recovery. It's not great. Nah, it's not great. Armor, energy shield, maximum mana, fire resistance, lightning resistance. Yes. Come here, do that, do life, and then don't be stupid. We go for the next one. Craft. 
So that life alone has put me 1032. Okay, so I'm back to where I was on life. If I've got this on, my resistances are back to capped out. We're getting somewhere. Now, what else can I do on here? I'm seriously trying to figure out how I can optimize this. Okay, so I don't need resistances. So let's say... Okay, so all I can get out of that is chaos resistances. Okay, you know, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Strength until fire and cold resistance, cold, no. Plus that to all. I'm already over level 40. That might not be bad. Strength and dex. 10 to 13 on everything. Strength and dexterity. Intelligence. Recover. Maximum fortification. Fire and chaos. Lightning and chaos. Four sockets. Three sockets. Four linked sockets. Already has four link. Why can't I go for five sockets? Why is there no five link? I move crafted mods. Okay. Mm, strength and intelligence. Fire and lightning and cold. Okay, so there's not much that I can actually do on this. I just want to do. We'll do that. Oh no, that's a replacement as well. So all of these are replacements. Fuck, okay, so that's maxed. I'm so close, I'm so close to being able to use that. Two more levels. Okay, so one, two, three, four. That last one is a problem, but that's okay. That is okay. This thing didn't give me any kind of buff to... Nope, didn't. That is not doing anything that I really want. It's got 43% chaos damage, but this has got... 59 to 84 chaos damage plus chaos damage on the actual thing. I can't wait to equip that. I think that's going to be a game changer. Mm -hmm. I'll pray for you. Uh, where was I? Chamber of Innocence. Okay, everything is applied, got my boots. Let's keep going. Void sphere. 40% of physical damage is converted to chaos damage. Enemies in range are hindered with enough 32% reduced movement speeds based on distance. Oh. oh, fuck me, okay. Sword, the amulet, and the stock. What is this? Alteration.
with how this is turned out so far. I'm happy with how this is going, this is going really well. Ooh, wrong button. Single target damage sucks, but hopefully, at some point, we can rectify that. Just need a moment to catch my Talk a lot, bro. Oh no, fuck it. I was not paying attention. sense you and only you i am sin everything's falling apart yay okay so that's just done and dusted Now this man's gonna be mad at me, yeah, fuck you, bye-bye. Oh, 
was doing more, I was recovering more last week. Really. Take one. Going for that one. Happy with that. And now I'm back in the square. Go back to Lani. Uh, she can give me some shit. It's probably not going to be any Thank useful you. shit. Nope, nothing that I want. I'll just take that. Recognition. I'll just take that. Sell items. Sell, 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 sell. So, 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 that's unique, I'm going to keep that, except, uh, stash, put away currency, I don't know, I need to put those away, I always end up putting away shit that I don't actually need, need to put away, void manipulation, unbound element support, that is stuff that I still technically want to try and sneak in here somehow, one goes there, and then I think it's page four. You go inside there, and that is for Jim Cutter's person. That's not bad. Not gonna worry about my flasks just yet because that's something we can upgrade later on. Let's I'll see what these fools have got to say. Thank you. And we're gonna take and apply an additional curse. That is gonna be massive. We're glad you Lani's here. Don't ever give up. That is actually gonna be pretty fucking decent. So now we can apply an additional curse. Okay. Then what is the other thing that I wanted? Unbound elements. Yes, it does. It actually fucking does. Hex bloom and a transfers. Yes, and now because we've got that, I can snipe as mock hex and then just let rip. And everything should bounce around. We should be. We should be seeing a pretty decent increase in damage right now. And I've got one more level to go. One. So I'm going to pump that out as quickly as I can. Because I want to start using that. That claw and seeing how much it does. Okay, so I first want to test it. Let's hack somebody. Somebody. 
So now can I hex and that? Oh my god, yes. Now they're taking damage from both. That is nice, that is nice. Oh, I don't want it. Your ship's fucked up. This looked real nice. I'm still looking for the reliquary though. Okay, so I can't go that way because that's where the reliquary is. So that's where the um, entrance to the cathedral rooftop is. does it spreads like a virus and I fucking love that Currently there is 802. Wait, hold on, is it rest? Just rest for me. Just 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 oh. That extra chaos damage is gonna come in clutch. That's gonna be gorgeous. So that was 14 to 37 plus 7 to 14. 
Now the elemental damage was insignificant because I wasn't really doing any elemental damage. However, the new one does 14 to 38. It's 59 to 84 chaos damage plus 59. Well, so that is the 59 to 84 chaos damage. Oh, that's gorgeous. And now if we do this. Oh, it's not armor. I have to get the wet stones. I'll, I'll do that now. Hold on. single corner nice little front wall but great okay now comes the question oh, is there mastery that we want Because we're not using void manipulation support, there's actually a chance that we do elemental damage. Because we've got Val Toxins, Cobra Lash, Greater Multiple Projectile Support, and Decay Support. We don't care about the projectile damage because we are focusing on the and because I don't have void manipulation on there, it means, however, hold on, hold on. Increase area of effect, hex bloom, despair, and bane. So if we take critical strikes, non cursed enemies, you flip non neural courses, or blinded for four seconds. Increased effect if 50% curse duration expired. Enemy gives a curse are hindered with 15% reduced movement speed. Recover 1% of mana and life when you curse a non-cursed enemy. Well, fuck me. Is this the same as this? No, Chaos Mastery, Curse Mastery. Charge to ignite, 20% charge to ignite free shock and, and poison cursed enemies. Now I'm going to go for this one. Recover 1% of mana when you curse. 1% of both mana and life when you curse a non-cursed enemy. So that means if there's a cluster of enemies. Question, does it... Does it count if the curse jumps due to the hex bloom? Don't know. Anyway, we're going to find out. Increased cost speed, definitely. Duration, definitely. Spell damage while holding a ship. I uh, don't care about any of that shit. Hmm. This is not... Not, not, not looking bad.
like it. I need you guys to smack me a bit, smack me a bit, smack me a bit, smack me a bit. Thank you. And now. Thinking about it, 1% wasn't that much. 1% was not that much. 1% was really not that much. So I'd rather go for... We'll go for something else right now. Increase chaos damage, physical damage, yes. Net 97. Run that route for now. I need I need damage. I need stats. And faster. Not all. That helps. Damage over time multiplier. Thank you. Hello. The high priest. You're gonna bitch about something probably. Just take your shit for now. Lighting damage. Okay, so. Requires level 40, requires level 49. I need to see if I can maybe potentially make another OP one, like that one. There are schemes afoot, my good sir. There are schemes afoot. Uh, Osiri. Search for, okay. So I was actually in the right place. Yeah, and I need to go the long way around. That was a nice little quick run. Hey, 
Fall. Mal gucken. Let's see the up The damage is scaling nicely in despair. Despair and pain are just growing. Are just fucking growing. So despair, what? Something's not right. Something is not right. Aren't these two supposed to be Hexbloom and Despair? Bane and Despair. Hexbloom. Increase area effect. I thought that they were supposed to. Wait a second. The cost applied. Line the Kairos resistance. I thought those two were supposed to bump off of each other. I honestly thought those two were supposed to bump off each other. Or those two different. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There it's simple. And that's gonna turn that's gonna turn to that. That's gonna go away, so now it's okay, so I'm missing something.
Let's see how well this goes. Dad, you want shot in my shit. Yep, this is going to be a problem. That's going to be a big problem. Need a moment to search my bed. I can see this is going to be a problem. I'm not doing nearly the damage. Not anyway. Near to the amount of damage that is required. So that's problematic. This is problematic. This is problematic. I think that was the end of the fight. Yeah. Sat in the corner because I think it's going to blow that shit up and then I'm just going to run. The flame of hope may flicker, but it cannot be extinguished. I have been permanently weakened by Tava's fuck you. There is no shame. So that now means all of my resistances are 63, 52, 48. I need to make myself healthy again. I'm cap Remember? Yeah, fuck off. I'm going to wait for break lost. Take me, take me, take me. Alright. Don't think I Thank you. Sell. Take, take, take. Time and tide wait I don't no think man. I need to be doing that right. Despite your base. Sun can fuck off. Humanity. Everyone else, like I'm talking to now, I'm just gonna get the coast done.
I don't think there's anything else that I want yet. No plate, no axe, no quarter staff, no shield, no sword, no more. Back to Lion Eyes. I think we're actually looking good. Yeah, yeah, you're rogue. That's green. That's tune. The best style. Darkly. Nothing else I want to sell you. I do want to get those on at some point. But not sure I'm going to do that. I'm going to have to wait for better gear. So, in the meantime, I pack everything away. Uh, quick manipulation with rolling blade. Nah. Actually... Yeah, let's do some chaos damage with that as well. Why not? It's there, it can level. And for now, I'm done else in support. I'm gonna put it over there just so it can level. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm actually going to call it there for the evening. Things have really, <laughs> things have really, really changed in respect to this build. And I'm excited to see where it's gone. Now, I don't know if the changes that I made or the changes that I did to this, switching out from Cobra Lash, I'll keep it Cobra Lash, of course, because that's the main skill that we are focusing on. But Vile Toxin support, greater multiple objection support, and DK support. Getting 228 chaos damage per second for 8 seconds. That's good. I think the changes that I have made to the bolt has made it a lot safer. The clearing speed is a lot faster. I'm doing a lot more damage, even though the DPS number doesn't necessarily read so. It definitely feels like everything's dying relatively quickly. And then I think I have done the right choice with what I've done with the skill tree. So, we focused mostly on damage over time. We've gone into sleight of hand with one-handed weapons, dealing 30% increase with ailments. We've got some life. We've got some life. We've got quite a bit of life, actually. We went into the claws of magpie. Um big note we went into mark of the prey and we went into fatal toxins i can always probably get two more of these because i mean this is an extra 12 percent damage over time we're now going into chaos and we're also touching on this tree but this one was a big one for me whispers of doom you can now apply additional curses so that means i can have bane and despair active at the same time and because of hex bloom one of the skills that we've got if something dies relatively close to any target that I've cursed, those curses spread on death. So it basically becomes COVID-19. <laughs> and it's been working. It's been working relatively well. And I did not think I'd be able to get to this point on my own. I'm actually pleasantly surprised with what has happened with this. Now, the reason why I've gone down here because I potentially want to go into the damage of a time chaos node section over here as well. But that might not be needed. Then again, it might. I'm 
I just don't know because this world is evolving and developing as I level, as I go through it, as I realize what my weak points are, as I realize where I'm struggling or where I can focus. And I think there's a lot that I've learned doing this and still there's a magic fuck on that I'm going to have to learn still over and above this. But it's looking good. It honestly is looking good. My Atlas tree is just about done and then I think it was Control G. Yeah, Control G. I'd love to start going into legions and deliriums and harvests with this and see how it does. It could be interesting. But for that, we first need to make it through the acts. I suppose I could run a map right now, but I'm not stupid. So I'm actually interested to see where this bolt's going to go. Because for once I'm not following a bolt guide, I'm trying to create one on my own. So, that's it for the evening. I think we've been streaming for about three and a half hours. I think that's a good one for tonight. Thank you very much for joining the stream. I really do appreciate all the love and support. I am going to ask that if you could please help spread the word, it would be greatly appreciated. Share it on social media, share it on wherever you can. I really would appreciate it. Help grow the community and give me feedback. If you like the content, let me know. If there are things that you can suggest or things that you would like to see change, let me know. There's always room for improvement and I'm always willing to listen. Now, for those of you that don't know, all of my live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel as well. That's just simply because Twitch, because I'm not a partner or an affiliate, only keeps my shit for, I think, it's seven days. So everything goes on to um, YouTube for your viewing pleasure at a later date. Go show some love there as well. Subscribe, turn on your notifications, follow me, and help spread the word. But until tomorrow evening when we go live again, I hope you look after yourselves. Keep safe and enjoy your evening and or day depending on where you are. Much love.